Hi there, Steve. Again, continuing my Korean challenge. Uh, cleaned up after dinner. I'm going to go off and do some Korean reading on Link. But I just uh, had a thought that I wanted to share with you. Uh, somebody came on my channel here and said, uh, and I get this from time to time. Uh, you know, what's the point of uh, being uh, intermediate at best in so many languages? You're better off to be really good at a few. Uh, you know, why do you pretend you're fluent when you're not? And, and words to that effect. And I've had people come on before, you know, your Chinese is uh, really quite mediocre and stuff. So, in praise of mediocrity, I think it's great to be intermediate in a language. I think it's great to be mediocre in a language because we learn languages for ourselves. So, if I can communicate, if I can read and listen to things that interest me and I can communicate with people, I'm happy. Uh, I think it was Kato Lam, the famous Hungarian a uh, polyglot of the 20th century who said, language is the only thing worth knowing poorly or something to that effect. So uh, I think people should just accept whatever they achieve, be happy for it, be happy for what they're able to do, enjoy every moment they spend with the language, which I do. I, you know, and sometimes I have to remind myself, you know, I'm, I'm working through my Korean, I don't think I'm making progress, but I'm enjoying it. I'm learning about stuff. So mediocrity is good. It's good because you have to enjoy every moment that you're spending with the language. Not to mention the fact that to be intermediate in a language is pretty good. And particularly if it's based on good comprehension, which I consider to be the most important thing, if you get more opportunity to speak, you'll end up speaking better. So there you have it. Now, I was asked by someone, I can't remember who, who said that their girlfriend uh, is Chinese and is struggling to learn English and uh, could I say a few words of encouragement to her in Chinese. So I'll follow this up with a, another video where I'll say more or less the same thing in Chinese to encourage this learner in China. And I might uh, you know, add a few more things to it, but I'm not gonna provide a translation or a transcript, sorry. And there you have it, in praise of mediocrity, you know, celebrate what you're able to do, enjoy it, and don't worry. If you put in enough time, you will improve, guaranteed, especially if you enjoy it. And in order to enjoy it, pat yourself on the back every now and again. Okay, bye for now. 大家好,我是 Steve Kaufman. 有一个人就看我这个YouTube channel的一个人,他就是叫我,请我给他的朋友用中文 嗯，就是说明一下，都是鼓励他，呃，学习学习英语。我们第二个人，我不知道他是美国人什么人，他的他有一个朋友，好像是他的女朋友，是中国人，也很努力的学习英文，但是觉得没有进步，有一点泄气
，无所谓。有人来批评我，无所谓，主要是要继续，要相信你可以，要相信你，呃，就是用，你要用很多的时间，但是那个时间。你不要认为那是，嗯，好像，呃，对你来讲那是无聊。你假如认为你学语这个英语是无聊的事情，不会有什么进步。一定要想办法有乐趣，就是要，呃呃，学习有意思的内容，呃，就是做对你来讲是有意思的事情，有意义的那个学习办法。好。要这种情况就是啊，没有办法，你这个大脑肯定可以学会。我们的大脑是肯定可以学会，学会就是要需要足够的、足够的刺激、经验和一个很积极的态度就可以了。很多，包括很多的时间。好了，呃，还有呢，你假如认为你这个英文水平，就是一般的，不是像你。希望的那么高无所谓，你的水平一般也可以，还要继续学啊！我从来是这个态度。OK， 谢谢，再见。